All right, bomb dia, mi amigos. All right, so the deception in the world is out of control. It's out of control. All right, so this is the second video I've done to, this morning, and I gotta do another one. And in the first video, I talk about perilous times. Right now, we are in perilous times. And the perilous times that we're in is because of the deception. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Jesus is asked, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And the very first thing he says is, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I, Jesus, am Christ, and shall deceive many. The deception in the world is getting worse and worse and worse. That's the perilous times that we are in. And so also, we are seeing in the world today, it's almost everybody is teaching this false teaching that supports the Hollywood movie The Left Behind and this is not biblical at all and it's evil and cruel to teach this idea that after the rapture people get a second chance to be saved and it's not true at all and it's obvious to me that people avoid that specific point regarding the doctrine that they teach all right they'll, they'll talk about anything and everything but the fact that what they teach is this idea that people get a second chance to be saved and if <laughs> it's unbelievable it's unbelievable so let's listen to what another false teacher Not until after the millennial reign which teaches. is 3000 years from his death and resurrection wait what's going on here all right let's go back to the beginning what did it say in first corinthians 15 it said then he would what reign so when he comes no, what's it say in first corinthians 15 Well, I think I've read this before. Where's it at? Let's see. And he must reign till he has put all his enemies under seat. All enemies under seat. So, what this guy say? What did it say in First Corinthians 15? It said then he would what? Reign. Then he would reign. That's not what it says. So we're not even eight seconds into this video and this guy flat out lies about our Lord Jesus Christ. Now think about that. In Matthew 24 Jesus says, many will come in my name, saying, I, Jesus, am Christ, and shall deceive many. And here we got an example. Eight seconds into this video, and this guy is already lying about our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, in 1 Corinthians 15, it says, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. That means he's reigning right now. It, but this guy here, he says, then will he reign. Meaning, or implying, that he's not reigning right now. And of course, Luke chapter 1, verse 33, 
and he shall reign over the house of Jacob. Jacob's been around for a long time. Oh, he's dead now, of course. But Abraham and Jacob, Israel has been around for a long time. So he reigns right now. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Eight seconds into this video and this guy is already lying. What did it say in 1 Corinthians 15? It said then he would what? Reign. Then he would what? Reign. No, it doesn't say then he'll reign. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. It doesn't say the end comes and then he'll reign. I mean, this is blatantly lying. It's not being honest at all. It's trying to squeeze your doctrine to fit a Hollywood movie. So when he comes, those who are what? Being resurrected, who are going to reign with him for a thousand years? That, that's not even... What? And listen to what it says. But the rest of the dead. So this means there's a group resurrected after, right? At no. the end of tribulation. No. Which is after 2,000 years is done. No. He's making all this up. Making all this up. So we got to go to Revelation 20. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished. This is the first resurrection. And you're pointing to 1 Corinthians 15. And you missed it. You missed it because you desperately wanted the Hollywood movie left behind to be right. And it's not. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits. After the word, they that are Christ at his coming. That's it, man. That's it. Did you miss that verse? Jesus Christ is the first resurrection. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. It's as plain as day, man. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept? Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Hold it before I go there. Let's go to Let's go to First uh, Thessalonians four. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. This is Christ and His coming. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Compare that to what we read here. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Jesus resurrected, and then when he comes, we are resurrected. First the dead in Christ, then those of us which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is, I think, those of us that are alive are going to see those that are in the graves rise first. And they came before us, so it's only right that they rise up before us 
and it's a blessing for us to be able to see that, that. you know if if it happens today we're gonna see it it might be 50 years from now I know nobody knows but let's imagine it happening right now it'll be a blessing for us to see that to see our loved ones rise up from the grave ascend up to heaven and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them uh, this is a demonstration of God's love if, if nothing else okay but this is this, this is how it's going to play out uh, regardless of what Hollywood movie comes out and says contrary okay it doesn't matter what the Bible says is what matters all right and so in Revelation 20 verse 6 blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection Jesus is the first resurrection it's clear as day now Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept Christ the first fruits afterward they that are Christ at his coming and you know let's go to Daniel 12 just just in case man you, I mean this thing is hammered home all throughout the Bible but Daniel 12 verse 2 and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt uh, we can go to Matthew 13 the parable of the wheat and the tares all right the harvest is the end of the world and there's only one harvest man the harvest is the end of the world the reapers are the angels the wheat which represents the saved are gathered into his barn which is up in the air and the tares which represent the unsaved are put in bundles and burned that's it it's real simple Jesus explains us as simple as it gets When it's the end of the world, it's the end of the world. All right, blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Jesus is the first resurrection on such. Now, we are partakers of that resurrection right now. On such, the second death has no power. Right now, if you are born of the Spirit of God, the second death has no power over you right now. All right, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. That's this period right now. We are called to preach the gospel to every creature. Revelation 1 says that he has made us priests and kings unto God. Kings and priests unto God. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation right now. So that's it man I was gonna want I was gonna play this whole video but it's one lie after another one lie after another I'm telling you this stuff is so simple right now those of us that are born of the Spirit of God judgment has been given to us right now and we are kings and priests unto God right now we sit we sit on heavenly thrones right now And real quickly, because I don't know anybody that's teaching this correctly, but um, Satan, before Jesus, he deceived the nations that were outside of the nation of God. Jesus comes along and makes the kingdom of God available to whosoever believes in him. So now that barrier is taken away. And Satan no longer has the power to deceive the nations outside of Israel because the kingdom of God is available to whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, at the end of the world, when we are lifted up in the air, all right, when we're up in the air with the Lord, all the unsaved people are at our feet. All right, gather together first the tares. All right, the unsaved people are at our feet. And they compass the camp of the saints about. Okay, this is when 
Satan once again is given the ability to deceive the nations because we're up in the air. All right, before in the Old Testament, there was one country of people outside of that country, Satan deceived the nations. There were nations, and Satan deceived them. So now, at the end of the world, we're lifted up in the air, and Satan once again is able to deceive the nations, and he gathers them together, and he brings them to our feet, and fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all. And this goes back to Genesis 3, verse 15. I'll put enmity between thee and the woman between thy seed and her seed and it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel and when this happens then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory all right there are no more second chances the movie the left behind is a fraud it's a deception it's a lie don't believe it believe the Bible that you hold in your hands.